What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. It's Monday, January 29th. The, the month's almost over. What has happened, folks? It's going to be February, just the next couple of days. February 2nd, Friday, I am packing my bags. I'm heading out to Vegas. I got a little conference, convention out there. I'm excited. More details coming out on what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be involving Lux Lions. It's going to be a great time. Staying at the Mirage, a nice little strip view, some gambling, some great food. I can't freaking wait. Going in Friday, coming back Tuesday. I believe Tuesday. Don't you worry. I'm bringing my laptop, bringing my little portable mic because the show must go on. And this video, we got a lot to go over, especially if I can spell things correctly. Lux Lions, the auction set records yesterday. We're going to talk about what's going down and over in Hong Kong. XLM, yes, the Stellar Network just had it delete on their smart contract protocol. Why? Well, they found a bug. They found a bug last minute. We're going to talk about Casper. You know I'm a big Casper fan. I hold a lot of Casper. I'm preaching about Casper. This news that came out, a lot of people are afraid. A lot of people are scared. A lot of people are bailing ship. I'm going to let you know. Nothing's changed. Calm down. Relax. We'll go over it. Don't you worry. Zam, Sam, is it the new Mt. Gox? Let's talk about that. Top five cryptos that are going to make you rich. And then we're going to look at the monthly close on XRP because we are just two days away from it. So without further ado, Bitcoin, $42,351. It's currently down 0.48% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2272 It's down 1.16%. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs, just like we're ready to see them. And XRP is a mean lean 52 cents. I am sick of seeing XRP at 52 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents. Get us up to that dollar range. We all know it's coming. It's down 1.25% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 1 trillion. $652 billion. Really haven't budged too much. What happens next? You know, I put it in a tweet. I put it in my timeline. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, a little sideways action here. We're going to see sideways action for Bitcoin. Nothing special coming just yet. Hold on to your shoes. We might go down. We might go up. We might stay flat, but nothing crazy. If we do see another crazy Bitcoin meltdown, only about 10%, folks. The lowest Bitcoin can get, eh, 33K. And then we're going to see the all-time highs being set. Here's the auction I talked about yesterday. Here's some of the pieces, folks. We had a king, a queen, 10 two-pointers. We had 101s. It was a record auction. Absolutely set records during this auction. The battles were intense. It went on for two hours. I mean, they were back and forth. There were heavy makers thrown around weight. There was TKO punches being landed. I almost lost my voice. Still feel like my voice is on the way out. It was awesome to see. You need to make sure you're in attendance for the next Lux Lions event. Remember to get your NFT because February 1st, payouts are coming out. Just in. Hong Kong, their SFC receives its first Bitcoin ETFs application. That's the Securities and Futures Commission. You know what's going to happen? We're going to see this pop up over and over and over, and it's going to keep coming to life and more Bitcoin spot uh, ETFs everywhere around the world. And then we're going to see different cryptos assets added. And what's interesting about this is that we originally covered, because Alan Oterra put it out, that we needed a futures XRP to be traded before we can get an XRP ETF. This was actually shot down. That is not the case. We do not need a futures. We can just get that spot uh, ETF approval right ahead. There is actually no like rhyme or reason saying you need to have the futures before the ETF. We can't have one without the other. We could just get an XRP ETF. I think that the groundwork and the fundamental legwork has been laid for this. That these companies who are looking to launch ETFs, they know exactly what is needed from them. So I think we're going to see more pop up this year. And, you know, Brad Garlinghouse, he seems to agree, agree with that comment. Stellar's Foundation, they support the delay of smart contracts upgrade after a bug was found. A bug in the upgraded software identified January 25th was deemed to pose little risk. But after robust feedback from the blockchain's developer community, the Stellar Development Foundation has now recommended a delay beyond the January 30th go live target date. So XLM, they were going to have smart contracts coming tomorrow. They pushed that on off because of a bug that they found. It says the Stellar Development Foundation, which supports the blockchain ecosystem, found a bug on the 25th of January. 
in the Stellar Core version 20.1 software, according to a draft blog post shared with Coindesk on Saturday. The bug could theoretically affect applications and services on the new Sorbent smart contract transactions once the upgrade goes through. SDF officials decided that the bug posed little risk given the phased rollout plan, but after robust feedback from the developer community, the foundation is now planning to disarm its own validators to protect them from voting to upgrade the network on January 30th. A fix for the bug? Well, two weeks. It's going to be available. And then the upgrade can uh, you can come back to life and they can see if it's going to go through again. Happy they found the bug before they went live. Let's talk a little Casper. You know I'm a big Casper holder. I've been supporting Casper for quite some time. I am very vocal about it. Crypto Kenny put this out. Tough times for Casper. What's going on? Long story short, IP we one dApp that never went live on the Casper network filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Has the market overreacted? Yes. Welcome to crypto. But in fairness to holders, the IP we launch was going to be a major ecosystem milestone that had 25 million patents to be deployed on the Casper blockchain. We would have made history, created a lot of hype, and now likely won't ever happen. Very disappointing. I agree. Given the lack of liquidity in the market, price nuked, of course. We knew that was going to happen, right? Is this a death flow? No. It's not a death blow. There'll be other dApps are going to arrive that are going to fill the void, folks. I mean, here's the chart. You can see where we were. I didn't even think it was that high, to be honest with you. I think we were on like the four cent mark. Yeah, we'll call it about, we'll call it five cents. We're down to three and a half cents. whoop de do Listen, we've been here before, right? This is nothing new. And this is what I'm going to say to you. When you invested into Casper, did you even know about this IPWE? I'm going to say 99% of you listened to my voice had no clue about IPWE. You didn't invest your money into Casper because of IPWE. So now don't be upset that something happened here. Listen, it's business. You know, they went bankrupt. They couldn't They couldn't do what they wanted to do. They didn't have enough money. They folded up shop. Bada beam, bada boom, they're gone. Casper's not dead. Casper's going to be just fine. Casper's still going to do a 2050X during his bull cycle. Now's a great time to buy if you want to buy. If not, then don't do it. Sit back, relax, and Casper re will rebound. Am I buying more Casper? I'm not. But I've been telling you I'm not buying more Casper for about two months. I've just never changed my automatic payment or my automatic buy from Uphold. As soon as this video is done, I am going to change it. I think just out of short term, I'm probably going to start buying Quant every week. I'm probably going to be doing $400 of Quant every week, $100 of XLM every week until further notice, until I am ready to switch back out. That's just where I am with this. I think Quant's going to give us a 10x. I'll take a 10x during this bull cycle. Why not? Time to diversify a little bit. But this is not because of the news. I've been saying this for quite some time for everyone, everyone who's been following my channel that I need to stop buying Casper. I have a crap ton. Like more than any normal person should have. And I'm just being honest. Think about it. Do the math. I've been buying it since January. $400 every single week. Yes, not month. $400 a week. That's $1,600 a month of Casper I've been buying. When moon is Sam some, the next Mt. Gox are we about to get rugged. This makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. This guy must be engagement farming, clickbait farming, doing some kind of farming. This is, might be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. We'd see when even chimed in. He goes, it's a self-custody wallet. What can get rugged? Your funds are on the XRP ledger. They're not under Wheatsy Wins and Sum or Zam's custody. You own your funds. You own your keys. If Sum or Wheatsy Win, his crew packed up the bags tomorrow, you could just take your seed phrase, pop them into somewhere else, and you still have your money. They don't have your money. What the hell is this guy even talking about? This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's ridiculous. We're going to skip over the top five crypto. We're going to jump into the monthly XRP chart. My man Jay put it on out there. Let me blow it up. He said the monthly closes Wednesday. We're currently looking at a symmetrical triangle and MACD. Last time we were in a symmetrical triangle, the MACD crossed above zero, which caused us a parabolic move. All I know, this is JD saying this, all he knows is 2024 will be the year. He's right. There's the chart right there. You know, there's the 0.786. Well, I don't think we're going to get down there, to be honest with you. If we can get a breakout out of here, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Last time it had a breakout, it did a 600X. But, you know, I've been preaching. I've been talking about it. 2024 is going to be the year of XRP. XRP is going to finally break out and get past its all-time high. It's coming. 
It is all coming to us. And you know what? Each and every single one of you who have been an XRP holder since 2017, 2020, even since 2023, we all deserve what's coming to us because of all the nonsense, all the bull crap, all the FUD, everything that we have been put through. We deserve the gains that are about to come to us. And we are going to get it. Ignore the nonsense. Ignore the FUD. Ignore the drama. There's so much Twitter drama. Ignore it all, folks. We're going to get what we deserve. Remember that. Write it down. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.